Hey guys, here's a basic tutorial on how to quickly get started in Medibang Paint Pro. The first thing you want to do is open up the program. And when you open up the program, the first window you will see is some sort of relevant ad from Medibang, which you can just exit out of. Then you're going to see a second window pop up that lets you easily access their cloud services. Again, you're just going to exit out of that too. And now here's the real paint program. Here on your left are your tools, a color window for you to pick your colors, a window to see what the brush tool looks like before using it, a window to customize and control your brush, a list of available brush tools you can use, a window called navigator where you can move your canvas around, a layer window where you can organize your layers, and a brush size window where you can just choose how big or small you want your brushes to be. All right, first we're gonna go to File, and we're gonna click New. This window lets you change the dimensions or size of your canvas or drawing. I like my canvas to be 1080 by 1080, but of course you can change it to any size you want. Um, for now, we're just gonna keep all of these initial settings the same, and we're gonna click OK, and here's your canvas. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click on the brush, and then you want to choose your color. For me, I'm just going to go with a solid black line, and then you're going to go down to the brush window, choose what kind of brush you want. Here you can see, like I said before, what your brushes looks like, and like what kind of texture you're going to get from your brush. I like the look of a pen because it gives you a nice smooth and black line. Here you can now control how thick or how thin you want your brush to be. So this is what a 15, this is what a 30 looks like. You can also change how see-through or transparent you want your brush to be. And as you can see, it's a lot more transparent than if you had it at 100, which was this line. Now say I don't like the lines I drew, I can go to this tool and I can erase it. Now what's cool about this is that you can also change the transparency of your erase tool so that your erase brush isn't as harsh like that. This tool actually lets you draw really nice uh, geometric lines. For example, you can draw a nice straight line by clicking, holding, and dragging, and then letting go. For this tool, you click, hold, and drag, click drag, click, and when you're done, just double click it to end the line. These tools let you draw squares and circles really easily. And as you can see, it's really nice. This tool right here lets you draw, um, lets you draw things by the pixel. So I'm just gonna zoom in. And this tool is really great if you're into drawing pixel art. Um, what I would recommend though is not choosing a window size that's 1080 by 1080 because when you zoom out you can barely see what you did with your pixel brush. This tool lets you move around your drawings. This tool lets you draw geometric shapes that are already filled in. For example, I'm going to choose a blue color and then I'm going to click, drag, and I'm going to hold it and let go. And that gives me a nice solid um, blue rectangle. You can also do other shapes. These are the shapes they have to offer. Um, this tool is the paint bucket tool. It lets you click on any area you want and fill it in with a solid color, like so. Now this tool is really cool because it lets you make a gradient easily and super effortlessly. So I'm just gonna choose a nice blue gradient, see, like that. So the way you use this tool is you click, you hold, and you drag all the way up, and it gives you this nice, beautiful gradient. Now, depending on what kind of gradient you want depends on how long you click, drag, and hold it. So if I just click on it, it gives me this really sharp two-tone gradient, but if I do a really short one, 
it gives me a shorter gradient. This tool lets you, okay, I'm going to uh, undo this. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to undo this, and this tool actually lets you select what areas you want to draw in. And so because the rest is highlighted, I can only draw in this box here, as you can see. And to select out, I just choose one of these tools and I click so I can exit out of this uh, selection. For this tool, you can draw specifically what you want selected. You can click to exit out of that. The wand, you can click to select. For this tool, you can actually draw freehand what you want selected. And for this tool, you can erase your selections like that. And for this tool, you can use it to type messages. So I'm going to type in Medibang. Press OK. And here are here's your message for these tools. Um, they're good for making comic books. And so Currently, we can't really use it for this canvas. This tool is an eyedropper tool. It lets you choose the colors you want already on your canvas. And this tool lets you move your canvas around. This navigator window is also really great for moving around your canvas too. For example, this lets you flip your canvas. This lets you rotate it. This also lets you rotate it. Down here lets you rotate it freehand. And say you want it to go back to its original position, you click here to set it back. This zooms out, and this zooms in. And this lets you go back to the original. All right, this is the end of the basic tools tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos or find these videos helpful. Feel free to leave me comments in the comment section if you have any questions too. And thanks for watching.